It's time now for our DIY security tip of the week and everything. I mean, every single thing that you do online travels through your router. This isn't the most exciting topic, I get it, but it's really super important because an unsecured router can be the perfect avenue for hackers to just come in and wreak havoc. Now, there are numerous ways that cyber criminals and scammers can compromise your router. Dirty tricks like DNS hacking and phishing schemes can let hackers into the heart of your network and then every device that's connected to it. The first step to locking down your wireless network is finding a router with the right security features. Now, there are plenty of new models with these features built in, and here's what you need to know to safeguard your network and keep the hackers out, starting with updates. And it's not like your router maker is going to call you up and say, hey, there, I just want to let you know that we closed a few security holes and it's time for you to go get the firmware update. So we're going to tell you how to set up regular automatic updates on your router within the router admin page. You're going to need the IP address and the password. If you don't have it, don't worry. We have a list of default passwords for 548 router brands. Yes, that's why you need to change the password. Number two is we're going to take a look at stronger encryption. With the most popular Wi-Fi out there, you got WPA2. Well, if you want to see if it has WPA3, then there's some other settings too, but you never choose open. That means no security at all. You also want to turn on the built-in firewall. It's super easy to do in the admin change, but you have to go to the advanced settings. You have NAT filtering, port forwarding, port filtering, service blocking. Number four on our list is the Quad9 DNS settings. Ooh, I know you're sitting there going, what the heck is that? Well, what it does is it checks against IBM's threat intelligence database which contains more than 40 billion web pages, and it helps you from getting trapped or tricked by malicious websites. Number five is turn off remote access. Yes, remote access means somebody can get right in there, and it's super easy for them to do. So we're going to tell you step by step on how to turn off that remote access. As you can see, this is very important steps that you need to take. And if you're the tech person in your family, make sure you share out this tip. It's over at commando.com. And when you're there, click the link that says Kim Show right at the top. Hey, thanks for watching. Now a few things. Don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more digital know-how, check out all these other great links.